Hi, this is Digital by Computing. We're going to look at the easy steps on how to copy some files from your uh, Windows computer to a Mac computer. So this can be at your home, for example, or in your office, and you've got multiple computers. Some could be Windows, some are Mac computers, running a Mac operating system, for example. And some people find it pretty difficult on how to share files between the two. So often sharing between Windows and Windows is easy and sharing from a Mac to a Mac is fairly straightforward. But sometimes between Windows and a Mac and vice versa can be a little bit tricky. So what I've actually got, I've got a remote session already configured to actually connect to my Windows computer, which is here. So let's just pretend in your environment, you've got a separate computer for your Windows and a separate computer for your Mac. The process will be exactly the same. So if you're on your Windows computer like here, and you wanna share something, okay? So let's just say well, I've got my C drive here. There's some files, okay? And I wanna share one of these files on my Mac so I can copy the files between the two. Generally, you can't do that by default. So what I need to firstly do is enable sharing on the Windows computer. So you can go into, into your start and into control panel. And you wanna look for network and sharing center and click on change advanced sharing settings. So this is essentially gonna enable your Windows computer to be able to share its files on the network. And what you wanna search for is, I generally set it across all three, maybe not domain in this case, but if you wanna set it for public and for your home or work, you wanna select print and file sharing as on. Okay, and under public as well, switch those to on. It's the first step. Next step is you need to know what the name of your computer is, your Windows computer, and hopefully um, your IP address as well. So your IP address may change, so it may be different every time, but let's just show you how to do that. So if I go into the start menu, and in here I type in CMD and enter, you'll get a command prompt like this, and then I type in IPCONFIG, which is IP config. This is the IP address of your computer. Or if I go forward slash all, you'll actually see that this is the name of my computer. Okay, that's one way to do it. You can also go into start menu, right click on computer and properties, and you'll see it listed here as well. Okay, so DCSERV-01 is the name of this Windows computer. So first thing we want to do is on your Mac now, okay, so you've got everything enabled on your Windows side. On your Mac, there are two things you can try. First thing is to open up your Macintosh hard drive. And if all things have worked, under shared, you should hopefully see your computer listed, which is DC serve dash zero one. Okay, if you don't, that's okay, it's not the end of the world. Sometimes it will may take a little bit of time to show up. So in our case, it's shown up. So I can just select it. You'll see that as soon as I try to connect to it, it's gonna fail on me. So what I need to do is I need to now connect as. Now, the first thing you wanna do, if we go back to the Windows computer, is ensure that you've got a username and password configured on this computer. So when you log into your computer, it's got a username and a password set. Okay, otherwise you may have some issues sharing between the two. So I know what that is. So I'm gonna select on my Mac again, I'm gonna select connect as, okay? And now I know that this is the username, okay? Yours may be slightly different because I mean, I'm, because I'm part of what's called a domain, I have to put that at the front. And my password. So yours will just probably be just your first name and then your password and connect, okay? Now you'll see that's connected to three folders, net logon, sysvol, and users, okay? This users is on our Windows, so if I just close out of this, is C drive, so I'm in my computer, C drive, users, that's exactly the same location, okay? So I'm gonna go into users, for example, and I've got test user, and then I've got a folder called test with a couple of files in here on Windows, so on the Mac now, I can go users, test users, test, and there are my two files. So I can just grab those files, 
and drag them onto my Mac. And that's it. So now they're on my Mac and I can open them and manipulate them how I want. You can then do that vice versa and copy the files back from your Mac onto Windows directly. Now, if for whatever reason your Windows machine does not show up on here, the other option you can do is from your finder, go into up the top, go connect to server. You'll get this window pop up and then you can put the full server address, okay? So we wanna start with SMB. Okay, this is gonna let you connect to a Windows file share. SMB colon forward slash forward slash. Now we wanna put the name of that computer. All right, so remember what we did before is in here, we've got DC serve dash zero one, DC serve dash zero one. Now click on connect and you'll see that I'll get listed with the same options. Now users is, is grayed out because I'm already connected to it. But in your case, it will be able to be selected. You can click on users and okay, and then you'll get prompted with that window. If that doesn't work, the last option is you can do it via the IP address, if you know what the IP address is, because sometimes the name may not always work. So to get your IP address again, in the start menu, type in CMD and enter, you get this black DOS window, and then IP CONFIG, IP config, that is your IP address, okay? Same process. On the Mac, go connect to server. Now, instead of the name here, because that may, may not be working for you, we're going to do SMB colon forward slash forward slash 172 16 130 connect. And I'll get prompted with the same window as we did before. And I can select it and then copy the files that I need from my Windows computer onto my Mac. So I do have another video on how to do the reverse and how to copy from your Windows computer, copy Mac files off your Mac to the Windows computer from within Windows, but we we'll, won't do that on this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos.